And we're live. Excellent. Right. Hey guys, um, we're a little bit late this week because I had a surprise barbecue and I may or may not have drunk a reasonable amount of whiskey already by this point. Which is why we're playing on level 6 instead of level 7, I think. But anyway, we're going to do some hell diving and we got Silly Frog, Bleeders and Tank. Um, I hope you guys are going to be able to keep me alive. Probably not. Probably not. This Your is kind sacrifice of sacrifice will not be in vain. This is kind of space Vietnam as well. This planet from um, what about here? from what bleeders said. But yeah. Also, um, Italy spit. How was Acolyte episode four? I find it funny that you think I watched Acolyte episode four. Um, I actually know nothing about it. Did you? Because I've I've only been keeping up on the Acolyte past episode two with little platoons videos. Uh, have any of you guys? Do you know anything about episode four? Because I have not yet seen any of it. <laughs> I mean, I watched the, uh, the EFAP TV episode that just came out. Okay. Better or worse than episode three, I have to ask. A lot, a lot of nothing happened. Okay. I mean, nothing happening is better than bad things happening. Well, no, it's all bad. It's all sure, bad. sure, but if nothing's happening, then it's less bad, if, uh, if that makes sense. Oh, uh, someone's bringing the super cocoa? Okay, perfect. There we go. Box says apparently it's worse. Um, Sebastian Melton, I have not yet seen House of the Dragon um, episode one. I've heard that it's very good, and like it starts strong, but I've also not seen season one yet. Um, at some point, I will definitely watch it because I've heard very, very good things about it. But at the same time, the reason why I haven't watched it is because I just don't care about Game of Thrones anymore. And season one was really good. That, that's pretty much what I've heard. Um, yeah, I mean, I uh, I think part of it might be that people potentially overrated it very slightly as a result of it coming out alongside Rings of Power and it having, um, well, it coming off of Season 8 of Game of Thrones, which was, of course, garbage. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to watch it. My fucking, my, my dog is just obsessively snipping me because there were other dogs at this barbecue. Stop. Of course there was. Stop it! Not the whiskey, absolutely not. Including some puppies. Well, it might be the whiskey. My dr my dog may or may not be an alcoholic. Um, so in terms of pinging objectives on this map where we can't see shit, Captain, we basically just... Oh, yeah, we... We just go? Like, we can't... Yeah, we can still ping them. It's uh, You can still ping them. It's just that if you check your map, you you won't see anything. Okay, nice. Uh, we got stalkers nearby. Oh, oh, wonderful. Uh, I think I see where their base is, or their, okay. their hole is. Um, also, Renard and Butters, hello and... Welcome in. Um, mortars are down. People are probably going to go splat. Oh, shit. Fuck hole. Okay. Was that... Was that the mortar that got you? Okay, hey, soccer layer is taken care of. All right, lovely. No, that was just my only point. Um, by the way, anyone who's in chat, um, just let me know about game level, my voice, everyone else's voice. If I need to adjust levels, I can, but it, I think it's all good. So just let me know if it's not. Yeah, I'm coming to help. All right, lovely. Um, 
Neptune says all good. Okay, thank you. Um, also, a couple of you guys in chat mentioned um, if I'm playing like open lobby or if I have room for anyone extra. Currently, no. Um, it depends on how, on how long we go for and if any of you guys need to leave. So, um, potentially, but not at the moment. Yeah, how are we doing? Uh, yeah, I think we're all good. Still alive? Yeah, bug spawn's gone. Um, we've got the secondary still. Sorry, the primary still to yeah. do here. Oh yeah, already evacuating it. Neptune says this map is stalker heavy. Is that based on the planet? I don't. Don't Could know. I haven't. Uh, I've never been on it. Oh, that's a that's a charger. Okay, <laughs> I'm coming. Also, I realized I forgot to bring the um, auto cannon sentry, which is. Um, Probably gonna bite me in the ass. Do you know what level, by the way, you end up getting the um, big dick charges with the spikes on their head? What? Is it? Yeah, they added those to the game, but I, I can't remember what level you see them at. Is it six or seven? They're kind of like charger bosses. Okay, there we go. Okay, nice. That works. Yeah, sorry, it was activating the terminal. Okay. Oh, fuck. We got windows. Uh, okay. Don't worry, we got him. We got him. We're fine, we're fine. Hey, Tony yeah. says they do appear in six, but they're more frequent in seven to nine. Okay, I think I've only seen one yeah. like once or twice, but... And I'm, right. I'm also kind of worried that they may potentially do the same thing for Bile Titans, because Bile Titans are assholes. Um, like, charges... Unless you're dealing with, like, three at once, charges are pretty manageable, but Bile Titans can quickly... You know, they can cause you problems. Uh, I think they've dealt with most of the, um, like, the, the spawning issues. Uh, what, for Bile Titans? Uh, well, for the, uh, the stupidity of having massive amounts oh, of- Oh, Stalker. Okay, uh, so I hate to tell you, but they, they have not. <laughs> uh, okay. I, oh, I, there's a, uh, spore, uh, spore tower. Okay, nice. Uh, yes, I got, uh, the Quasar. Last few days running like difficulty eights and nines, and everyone on the team finishes the mission with like 600 plus kills. Oh, Jesus Christ. At, at what level silly. was that? What level? Like eight or nine. Oh, God. Oh, See, I think that's actually a shrieker nest. Oh, okay. Do we have anything to deal with that from range? Yep, shriekers. Are they coming? Yep, we got, uh. They're yep. coming. All right. Fucking hell. Okay, right. Hold on. Um, yeah, I feel like tonight might be the night to try level 9. Just see what happens. <laughs> also, hello, Truffle. Hope you're doing good. Um... I do have a slight update on copyright situation as well, oh, which crap. someone someone remind me and I'll briefly go through it after this mission. There's a charger here as well. See, this is the thing with the, okay. this this particular gun doesn't seem to really get the job done against charges, which is kind of annoying. Don't worry, I got him. Large gun, large boob. There's still charges, uh, not charges, shriekers. <laughs> There's a bug breach. Yep, yep. I'm getting mortars down. Thirty seconds. Okay, nice. I got rid of one of the chargers. Lovely. Did they fix that, um, well, feature of, um, Shriekers killing you as soon as they, if they, if they die and land on you? Yeah, no, nope, that still happens. That's still a thing. All right. Well, they do damage, oh, it's not, uh, it's not a There's still shot. another, there's still a Shrieker okay. Nest, there's still a couple of Shrieker Nests. I'm down as well if I could get a resupply. Also, hello, Tree Man, welcome. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's, a, there's another one oh, behind you. You gave the pump destroyed, so I figured that'd be it. 
Wowzers. Okay. Where did my guard puppy go? Hey, there's one. One down. Yep. Shut the second one. There he is. Nope, there he is. Right, we're good. Sebastian says, I don't really get the century love when it comes to mobile missions like this. So, you are absolutely right, I think. The issue is that I just really, really, really like using sentries. Um, that's, that's the only reason why I use them. They did reduce the cooldown of the machine gun sentry, so it get more of them out compared to the gun. Okay. So it doesn't, does it override itself still or not? Well, it will do, but if you're moving around a lot, you can okay. throw them out more often. Yeah, I see. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. We got rid of all those. Do any of you guys want a guard dog? I can drop one down. Uh, got, yeah, if you can drop one down, drop Ooh. it. Yeah, it is going down right about there. I'm going to call on, oh, I do need to resupply once it's up. I'm okay. Sentries are just unpaid workers. I mean, that's one way of looking at it. Do you think the Helldivers get paid? Yeah, we get paid in... Um, we get paid in democracy, I guess. <laughs> I think most of them don't survive long enough to get a paycheck. It, true, yeah. Uh, I got bugs coming over. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was looking at a um, Warhammer 40,000 meme video. It was like um, dispelling various memes. And one uh, one meme of, for one of 40,000 is the Imperial Guard's average life expectancy once they're deployed is about 15 hours. Um, and that does actually seem to be the case. It's uh, it's a meme that is... that does actually have basis in real, in, in, in the lore. It's not just a silly joke. Ah, uh, that is a bile type. Oh. That is an X bile type. It is a dead body titan. It yeah. is inside and out. It. Spare shield there if anyone wants one. Oh, I'll grab it. Oh, well, too bad for you. Okay. Um. So hold on. So we got we got stalker nest. We got two separate shrieker nests. Those count as two separate objectives, right? Even though yeah. they're right next to each other. Yeah. Okay. Well then, yeah. I guess we've only got one more. Two hundred meters. Yeah, we still need to find Dick Rock. Uh, that is true. We certainly do. It might be hard yeah. to find it here, and, though, given the amount of trees. Yeah. Um, also, with the in regards to the guard, it also really depends on like what enemy they're facing. Well, so my understanding is that most of the time when the Imperial Guard are deployed, they're facing um, sort of things that are insignificant, like insignificant, like rebel uprisings or whatever. You know, just. Bandits, that kind of thing. And anything that, like, the Planetary Defense Force can't handle. Um, because if it's anything massive, like a Tyranid invasion or something, you're not really going to be sending in the Guard if you have access to something else. Uh, I mean, you're, you are. Uh, that's uh, kind of the point. <laughs> well, no, what um, I mean is because things like Space Marines are, are limited in number, but if there is something that warrants their inclusion, you're going to be using them as well as, which you would think we got a bug breach here, which you would think would probably increase the Guardsman's life expectancy. Uh, back. Yeah, back up. Do we have a, do we have a supply drop? I can't remember if someone dropped one. That we should be up to them. Oh, shit. And I do need one myself as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna drop one here then. Also, yes, Sebastian, the um fucking hell acid killed me. Space Marine 2. Um they put up a promotional video, I think yesterday. Yep. Of uh, like a gameplay preview, and I was skeptical, I'm now a lot less skeptical. I think that game. Looks like it's going to be pretty damn good. Uh, fairly sure I'm going to get it. Launch. 
Oh, god damn it. Fucking hell. This is not. This is not my day. <laughs> oh, <that's> <laughs> um, yeah, whether I'll buy it on release, I I don't know because I'm going to be like balls deep in Rings of Power when it gets released. So honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, Mechanicus 2 is another one that I'll definitely be checking out when it gets released, because Mechanicus 1 is awesome. Let's... No, we don't have our Sentry off cooldown. Neptune says September, okay. Yeah, it's September is right when I'm going to be dipping my balls in Rings of Power Season 2, so... Probably won't be playing it then, but... Um, and to be honest, I don't really want to pay 60 quid for it or whatever it is, because that's just an insane amount of money for a video game. That's like double what Helldivers cost. There is a second charger upstairs. Okay, okay. Where is he? Yeah, uh, up there. I can't... He's out of my feet right now. There he is. Um, okay. Yeah, I where, see him. Ah, uh, he's here. Oh, there he is. Oh! Okay, that is useful. You know the, um... It's not the blunderbuss, but whatever it's called. The, the blunderbuss-looking shotgun thingy from the, um... Mm -hmm. From the new Warbond. That appears to have armor-piercing. Armor which I did not realize. I got a whole group of baddies. Okay. I'll drop some mortars. Random, if you get drunk enough, you should do bots level 9. Um, I'm not sure that I want to do bots at level 9. <laughs> I think I'm, if we're going to do level 9, I think it's got to be bugs, right? Yeah. Another charger coming in. Okay. Coming in over that way. Yeah, the shotgun pistol, whatever this thing is. I. Oh, the school. bushwhacker? Yeah, it's Yeah, fantastic. the bushwhacker, that's it, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has armor pad because I shot it at a charge just now. I need to do a full 180. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, another charger coming in. Oh, that bird commander just took a shot. I take it we have no eyes on Penis Rock? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sa right. Satellite's hold good. It, hold it, hold it. Yep. Still good? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Lovely. Wait, is, is that Penis Rock? Be like I'm calling in resupply. Okay, okay. That's alive? That is still alive. How is that alive? Uh, because I think they upped the... Uh the survivability of them. Okay, now it's dead. Now... Uh, I got a uh, bug nest over here. Okay. There's all, uh, also one to the west. Uh, yeah, I died right when I called it in, so I ended up not needing them. I, think I love fire. I think we're missing a hole. No, I got it. 
Is it only a one hole nest? No, there was three. Oh, okay, nice. Lovely. Oh, uh, friend door here. Oh, on my way. Uh, Bleeders is here, we can do it. Okay. I've got this one. Charger coming in. Comes in south. I got a real cannon all cool down. Off cool down, sorry. Yeah, so do I. Ooh, we got space cash. Nice. Calling in an orbital strike. Oh, bile toxin. Oh, yeah. I dealt with it. Breach, where is... Breach is behind us. Okay, uh, yeah, I see it, yep. There's a patrol oh. as well. So the tree just took the, uh... The tree just took the, uh, my, um... Took the hit up from my, uh... Napalm. Oh, shit. So... That looked like it was acid that got me, but the screen told me it was bleeders, so I'm going to blame bleeders. <laughs> right, there's a flamethrower somewhere in all of that acid. Yay, go! Skadoosh! Go, Sentry Chan! I don't know what the hell that wild tiger is doing, but he's not having a great time. He's dead. Well, he's dead, so. Oh, fuck. Acid. No. Damn it! The fucking the mortar got me. Uh. Um, Sebastian, as far as I'm aware, that isn't something that can happen. Can things oh. like supply drops and weapons get stuck on trees? No, because I think all of the trees are destructible. Um, okay, so you cannot cross the water. No. We have to take the long so, way around. Yeah, see, I mean, you can cross it, but you're probably going to drown. Especially if you're in heavy armor. Hmm. All right. Well, that might be a problem. Yeah, so we can't go that way. We... It gives us a chance to find Venus Rock, though. can cross it over there. I doubt it, but... Oh, wait, this... There's a... I think where Bleeders is is potentially where we can cross. Yeah, we're coming over. Okay. Yeah, just uh, look for the bile type. <laughs> oh god, I feel I feel naked for not having brought my uh, auto cannon sentry. What'd you bring? Uh, EMS mortar. <laughs> I think I misclicked it. Oh, the EMS is actually good. Yeah, it's good, like it, but I I would always take the auto cannon over it. I've got guard dog, EMS, Gatling gun, and regular mortar. Oh, Neptune says uh, the rocket sentry is supposed to be good now. Have they have they changed it? Uh, I think they uh, increased the amount of. Or I I can't re remember. I think they increased the amount of damage it does. Okay, because I I always like using it, even though I've been told that it's garbage. So I might try it on the next mission then. You guys having fun? Um, pretty much. We're torching the... Well, we're torching the swamp, pretty much. <laughs> okay, yeah, we have to go around. Yeah, okay. Uh, anybody see... Uh, still no more... Uh, still, still no Venus no rock. rock? No.
Oh crap. Get out, get out, get oh, out. Yep, 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 yep. Doesn't really help with this map also as like these other rock intrusions. Ah oh, shit, nope, 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 we're okay. Well, this particular hey, hey, map hey, hey. biome is a bit of a... It's a bit claustrophobic, honestly. <laughs> I'm not sure uh, I like I it. The, uh, welcome to Vietnam. Welcome to the suck. Well, I think I think part of it is that uh, you can't see uh, you can't see anything on the map. I think that just makes it worse. Yeah. And yes, uh, Neptune, definite predator vibes. The the map I, is the map a temporary modifier because I thought it was like per planet and it's like permanent per planet, right? Uh, no, the yeah the map type changes per planet, but uh, uh, I think I see penis rock. No, never mind. Go okay. Where are we at? I mean, we got 15 minutes, minutes but we also, given the layout of the map, we can't really explore it, so I think we just call it in and yeah. check nearby if there's a phallic shaped rock. There's something up here. Oh, no, I think that's where we were. Yeah, that's where we were earlier. The Mondas take a beating now. Holy hell. Uh-oh. Where are you, Winky Rock? Okay, whoops. <laughs> I may have flown too close to the sun. Oh, no, that's a tank. Sorry. Yeah, please don't shoot me. <laughs> Uh, watch out, I got yeah. an eagle coming in there. Yeah. Ammunition. Skadoosh. Well, that went relatively smoothly. Uh, although we didn't find the penis rock. And I died about six times. Alright, right, let's go. All right. All right. Okay, so, um, chat, I'll give you guys a quick uh, copyright update. Basically, the Arcane video is still down. 
and Netflix has until Monday. Monday will be the 10th working day since I submitted the counter notification, which means, I mean, at this point, they're not going to do anything. There's no, it, it, it's highly unlikely, I think. Um, if it gets to the end of Monday and they have done nothing, then the video will go back up on presumably Tuesday, at which point I can then start the process of getting the next two videos out, because I'm sat on two videos that I can't release right now because of the bullshit going on with Arcane. So, yeah. Um, and then, I mean, apart from that, the idea of um, doing something with the extended Rebel Moon uh, cuts when they come out at the beginning of August. The idea of doing something with those is growing on me, but I honestly don't know if I will. <laughs> I guess it depends on whether people want me to sit through. And, yeah, I still can't get over the fact that Zack Snyder changed the name of the... changed the name of the movies for the extended version. What? <laughs> yeah, they, they have different names. Yeah, we were talking about it the other day. That, the, um... The, You're what is it? Child of Fire and, and the Scargiver is what the films are called. And then the extended version is The Chalice of Blood and the Curse of Forgiveness. Which wow, okay. does make so much more. I, well, I, I don't know. I mean, the best the best thing that we could do was. I mean, the first one having has nothing to do with a chalice of blood, so that's going to be completely new. The curse of forgiveness can only really be referring to the fact that the princess forgives her, but I don't like why. I uh, I don't know. Unless we're going to get a huge amount more content with that, this is all assuming that it ends up making sense, which it probably won't. But uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just I, why? Why is he like the way that he is? I don't know. He's like a twelve-year-old who thinks that he's making high art. It's yeah. No, it's, <laughs> it's because for some inexplicable reason, people keep giving him like hundreds of millions of dollars and just letting him make whatever. That's why I'm really interested to see um, if they end up doing no uh, number three, Rebel Moon Part 3, or if they don't, if they explain why they're not. Because, I mean, m my guess is that they probably will. Because you would think that Rebel Moon Parts 1 and 2 have at least made their money back. But, I mean, I, I could be wrong. I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know how they can make their money back. Well... Like it, I mean, it's it, they have their own way of measuring it, but the, the point that I'm making kind of is that like Army of the Dead was evidently successful enough for them to give Zack Snyder $160 million to make the Rebel Moon movies. Um, even though the only way that you can um, measure the success or failure of Army of the Dead is watch time, and you can then approximately convert that to number of subscriptions, which... Oh. Like, you know, maybe... Uh, how many people subscribe to Netflix to watch Rebel Moon? You could probably count those people on one hand. How many people switched it on because, oh, it's a thing that's on the thing that I pay for? Probably quite a lot more. Yeah. Oh, no. Ro rocket sentries we're going to take. There we go. Um, I also saw someone posted something in the Discord the other day. I didn't have time to read it properly, but um, apparently the... What are they called? The guys that did the Avengers movies. I can't remember their names. Um, uh, the Russos? Yeah, the Russos. Sorry, yes. The Russos are making a movie for Netflix with a budget of $300 million. Um, $300 million. <laughs> Yeah, that, like, that's like Marvel Bucks, which is insane. For just a no-name movie that's coming out with Netflix. Um... Again, I didn't have time to read the articles, so I don't know what the film is, but it, it doesn't look like it's connected to any other IP. Um, Evie says, did you see Argyle with Henry Cavill? I have not yet seen it. I haven't heard good things. Um, Me neither. But who's who's the guy that directed it? Um, if I hadn't if I hadn't drunk this much whiskey, I'd know the guy's name. Matthew Vaughn, right? I think. Um, 
because he typically makes pretty good movies. Um, so it's surprising that he's made something that's just flat out bad. Although saying that, the the, the Kingsman prequel was terrible. Um, oh, charge it, yep. Ah, I think you've got him. Uh, Scum says Zack Snyder is a social experiment on what happens when you give a 12-year-old the power to release high-budget entertainment to other 12-year-olds and their mental peers in the adult population. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it could, it could just be an experiment. <laughs> I guess we don't know. I don't know. I just, I find it funny that... The quality of the films that he has made has just gone downhill so drastically. It's pretty incredible the to watch. The more Toski does himself, like, the less people there are around him to reel him in. Yeah. And, like, usually when that kind of thing happens, you end up with, like, a George Lucas kind of scenario for the prequels. Oh, but that is not comparable to the kind of thing Zack Snyder does in terms of the quality. Oh, it's dead. Right, we're good. Who's dead? Uh, I'm dead. I got you, I got you. Somebody stirred and knocked me off the ledge. I was standing on top of my ground and I could just flung into the lead. Seventy-seven percent. We are doing all right. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. Although we need more. Oh shit! Hopefully the Gatling barrage doesn't kill my auto cannon. Don't do it. He's just a boy. <laughs> Yay! He survived. Oh. Oh, okay. bile tight. Oh, that's a bile tight. Yep. There we go. No. Got it. All right, we got him. Eats are still great. 99%. Where is it? Oh, where, there it is. Where is the boots? There they are. Hey, that wasn't actually too bad. Yeah, that went okay. That was uncalled for. This is Pelican 1, preparing for touchdown. Yeah, there's been a notable lack of throwing knives this time. Pelican 1, preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. Extraction complete. Pelican 1, beginning ascent. Nice. Another victory for the right side of the Um, Evie, yeah, I just saw the second half of your message. So, I would definitely recommend the first Kingsman film, which is also Matthew Vaughan. Um, I think that one's very good. The second one is kind of fine, but it's nowhere near as good. And then the third one is just not good at all. But like, the, I, I don't remember the second is one particularly like the prequel, well. The, first the third one? one's a prequel, yeah. Um, yeah. The King's Man is the name of the film. Yeah, with Rasputin. Yeah, and it's got things in it that I like, but it just as a film, it is really not good. <laughs> it's a complete mess. And I'm pretty sure that's also Matthew Vaughn, but honestly, I can't remember. Right, well, I think I need to change my gun because my accuracy is not going to be high enough with this gun. 
I need to go back to the shotgun. Yeah, there we go. 49%. Right. What are we doing? Well, why is all of our accuracy 49% on that mission? That was one for the no idea. Or 49% or lower, I should say. Alright, ICBM. Alright, let's do it. Mission coordinates locked. I'm just trying to do my part in keeping the seven-year-olds that are manufacturing all of our bullets in uh, fruitful employment. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. They're doing their part. What was the last good thing, good original thing Netflix has made? I was actually having this discussion with a friend the other day, so... Uh, I mean, Arcane would be my answer, but Arcane doesn't count because Netflix distributed it. They didn't make it. Um... Mindhunter is fantastic, but they're not making a season three. Dark, I think, is fantastic, but that finished a few years ago. And uh, the sequel, like the spiritual successor to that, to that one, got booted. Yeah, eighteen ninety nine. Eight, eighteen yeah, ninety nine. I, I I watched half of it and I got bored. Honestly, I didn't think it was anywhere near as good. It had like this weird cliffhanger at the well. Yeah, at the, at the end of it, and it, it has a very odd ending. They, they really wanted to expand this. Just, it's just something like, akin to Dark, I suppose. Not like with totally with a totally different setup, but it was like, yeah, they, they never got a chance to get out of it. Yeah. I mean, in terms of Netflix originals, like, what are what are some decent Netflix original movies? Because I can't really think of anything. I mean, you've got things like Extraction, which is fine like it does exactly what it's trying to do but it's not it's not particularly remarkable uh, not really sure yeah because i mean there is some good stuff on netflix it's just very little of it seems to be netflix productions um evie mastermind i assume you're referring to mindhunter is the one that i mentioned um that is a David Fincher, if you know who he is. If you don't, you've probably at least seen one of his films. Um, crime drama, I guess you could say. It's about the, um, like, psychological... I can't remember the name of the, of the division of, like, the, I think, FBI, when they started dealing with, like, serial killers, and there was a particular division that was set up to investigate why these people do the things that they do. Um, to do with, like, profiling um, and trying to catch serial killers, basically. Um, and it only went on for two seasons, and it's absolutely fantastic, but again, it only went on for two seasons, so it's... Like, it's similar, I guess, to True Detective, if anyone has seen that, but I think oh, my mother yeah. is better than True Detective. I, I have only seen season one of True Detective, though. I'm calling There's in a... Uh, watch, uh, I'm calling in Napalm. Okay. As well. I haven't seen three. I had the displeasure to watch Night County, which was like the, the unofficial season four that they released. That's like the Jodie Foster one, yeah? Yes. I remember you saying that that was just not good. <laughs> oh, no, like, it, it... Especially the final episode, I really think they just scrambled together, because suddenly, like, the just the... Um, how they shoot their shots just entirely changes, like... They suddenly do some like, camera things that they haven't done at all. Uh, just some other weird. I can't even. It's a it's a shit show, and the way yeah. it ends is absolute fucking bullshit. Um, uh, it probably has to be one of the worst endings of a TV show I've seen in a uh, in a long while. Okay. Um, Neptune says the Irishman. Um, that's a reasonable shout in terms of movies, because The Irishman, I think, is nowhere near Scorsese's best movie, but I also think it is, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good movie, definitely. Um, which probably means it's among the best Netflix original movies. Parasite wasn't Netflix, was it? No, that wasn't cinemas. Well, this is why I'm wondering, because The Irishman was also released very briefly in cinemas in order to make it eligible for the Oscars. Because um, I, I don't know if the Oscars have changed their rules now, but it, the the films... For films to be eligible, they have to have aired in the cinema in very particular 
um, like states, I think, or cities, I can't remember. Um, so, Roma, which I think Roma is okay. Roma is the... I think it was Alfonso Cuaron film a few years ago that won a whole bunch of Oscars. That was a Netflix film. And like The Irishman, it did a very, very limited run in cinemas to make it um, eligible. The one thing I like, when they do the, the de-aging of, um, what's his name? Robert De Niro. Yeah, Robert De Niro. Like, in that shot, he's supposed to be, like, 20 years old. I'm like, that, <laughs> that, that is not a 20-year-old Robert De Niro. Holy fuck. So, the, um, yeah, wasn't there, like, a deep faker on YouTube who actually did a better job? Um, oh, I have no idea. Yeah, someone it, uploaded. It, it, it was, like, be. guy on YouTube versus $150 million Netflix production. Um, uh, there's a, uh, uh, is that a spore or a, is that a spore or a bug hole? Oh, yes. I think it's a spore. Um, yeah, there yep. we go, nice. Yeah, in terms of de-aging, one of the funniest examples for me is, uh, Sam Samuel Jackson in, um, Captain Marvel. Because, like, visually... It looks like a young Samuel Jackson. Um, in terms of him, like, moving around, he very much moves like a geriatric. <laughs> like, he's, he's supposed to be moving around like he's 25, 30. Yeah, you got a, uh, got a charger coming at you there, silly frog. Okay, now he's coming at me. Well, he's coming, he's coming for you, I think. Yeah, um, I don't know. I'm starting to dislike. Scorsese, especially after the Killers of the Flower Moon, that was just, you know... Yeah. That I've still not seen, but I have heard good things about it. I like that. Like, the, the acting is, it is like, the, the actors are phenomenal in the role, but that is a three-hour movie that could have been two hours. Easy. Oh, shit. Like, the, the, the last hour just drags on and drags on and drags on without really adding anything out to the story of my honestly. Okay. Uh, Neptune says, has anyone ever done de-aging well? So, in order to answer that, I think we have to disqualify anything that is entirely visual effects. Um, oh, oh, like, obviously, de-aging is, is visual effects, but the actor is still under there and sort of driving the performance. Um, because the, the version that I would go to would be... Uh, what's her name? Rachel in Blade Runner 2049. Who's only in it very briefly. That, to me, is the most convincing de-aging. But it's also not the original actress. It's it's someone else, and then they're recreating her face. So so what they did there was yeah. the same thing that they did for Tarkin in Rogue One. Um, and I think that Tarkin in Rogue One looks nowhere near as good as Rachel in 2049. If we're talking about actually having the actor form themselves... I mean, I, I don't know. Like, what... You got because in order to do that, you need you need the big bucks. You've got Indiana Jones, but that didn't look particularly good. You got Star Wars, who haven't nailed it. You got Marvel, who haven't nailed it. Am I missing someone? I don't know. I... The last movie I went to see was um, Napoleon, actually. Oh yeah. <laughs> I still need right. to see that. Yeah. Heard very, no, very bad one movie. Just turn off your brain, watch, have fun at the scenes, but just don't don't look at it as it being a biopic of Napoleon. <laughs> I think it was like overall I had like fun watching it, but like from a historic standpoint, uh, yeah, don't go oh. don't go into it with that in mind. I didn't even have fun watching it. It was garbage. Bleeders, that was a shrieker, right? No, that was a uh, stalker in there, and Ness is over here. Oh, okay, okay. I'm probably next week I'm gonna go see Bad Boys. Okay. I, I find it interesting that that film is kind of receiving hype. Because, <laughs> I mean, the Bad Boys films are not great. No, but like, yeah, I, it's, um, these are like the action kind of movies, like, uh, like, for example, John Wick 4, and I watched, uh, like, other movies I'll watch on my own. I need help. Uh, with movies like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, I'm with, with my brother-in-law, because he likes the kind of movies, and then we, you know, we have a bit of a hangout session. Okay. Oh, crap. 
And I still got tickets for the cinema anyway that I need to uh, get rid of before August because then they expire. Like and a... there's not much else coming out in the coming months, I believe. Yeah, I was going to say, what else is coming out that... Oh, actually, saying that, Inside Out 2, I have heard uh, good things about. It seems to be... Uh, I don't know if it's doing well, but it seems to be well received, which is very surprising to me because... Um, I got another but I got another bug all over here. Okay, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, right behind you. Yeah, because uh, from a glance at IMDb, it is not the same writing team that made Inside Out One, and I mean the the concept behind it was handled, I think, really well in Inside Out One, and it's the kind of thing that you could easily cock up. And I think I saw that the writers for Inside Out Two are the same people behind Turning Red and Lightyear, which is not what you want. Especially for a film like Inside Out, but apparently it's pretty good. So, speaking of things we are, which are not being very well received, the watches, which is I believe produced by the daughter of M.I. Shyamalan. Oh, what, what was the name it's of the film? Supposed sorry? to be Watches. Yeah, so my wife watches. saw it in the cinema last week. Um, I I didn't because I. I, I'm not going to go watch that. the Dutch critics are calling it absolute trash. Yeah, so, I mean, I'll ask her at some point to maybe uh, e explain it in her own words, because I'll be paraphrasing, but terrible twists, uh, very accidentally funny, um, which, honestly, her description kind of reminded me of my experience watching um, Old, the Shyamalan movie, um, which was just... Old is hilarious. <laughs> For all the wrong reasons. Oh yeah, the well, let's let I'm not gonna shit those details here. But yeah, it was kind of funny because the trailer at least made it look like kind of interesting. I mean, I feel like those kinds of movies, the Shyamalan movies, if that, if we're gonna use that as a genre, are pretty easy to make look interesting because the whole concept is usually a mindfuck of a mystery, which. It, cutting a trailer oh. together out of that and making it look compelling, you've got to think that's pretty easy to do. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm not going to check, but I'm pretty sure that the trailer for After Earth probably made it look pretty good. <laughs> like, any movie where it's like, Will Smith. You all right? Yeah, sure. And Jaden Smith. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, that film, if I remember correctly, that film was apparently commissioned by Will Smith uh, to be a vehicle for Jaden Smith's acting. Yeah, and they had, like, a whole bunch of, like, outside of the, the movie screen setup. And this is, in their eyes, this was going to be, like, a new Marvel thing, you know? Oh, Comics like a, were planned, yeah. already, like, other movies, toys, they had everything lined up. He was trying just, to do a rebel move. <laughs> and then it just flopped. Yeah. Like, and just looking at it, like, how are you surprised about this? Like, did you... Did, oh, fuck, we got another stalker. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming over. I'm right behind you. Yeah, I got two of them. So there's a nest nearby, it has to be. I think it's yeah, I see right it, there. I see it. Yeah. The thing... Oh, it's not that. It's not that. The thing that was just yeah, a really confusing creative decision for me with um, After Earth was... Like, Will Smith is a very charismatic actor. Um, and then, and then it, he plays this fucking. He's basically of a character. he's basically lobotomized in After Earth. He he has no charisma. He's he's he kind of speaks like an automaton. Um, Jaden Smith gets to emote more than he does, and Jaden Smith is not a good actor. Um, yeah, I I don't know what they were trying to do. I, if I remember correctly, again, I think YMS has a pretty good video on um, on After Earth. But I have actually seen the film. I don't know why I watched it, but I have actually seen it. Whiskey, I reckon. It may have been whiskey. We got a chargeman. We had a charger. We had a charger. And the bug tunnel. Um, does anyone need a guard dog? Because I can drop one if needed. Uh, I got a, uh, I got a, uh, shield. 
Okay. Anybody seen Penis Rock? Still no Penis Rock. Does it exist on this planet? <laughs> it should. Oh crap. Hello. I love impact grenades. Uh, calling a resupply here. Die, Fire Titan. Yep. Don't worry. Rare sample acquired. Miss it. Uh oh. Also, um, oh, this is bad. I don't have any grenades to take out these holes. Yeah. Out of ammo. Don't worry, I got my trusty grenade pistol. All right, nice. Uh, Evie says, did anyone hear about how Jonathan Major got another role after his domestic assault convictions? I did not. Uh, but also, I haven't really kept up with that. Um, I know that... Possibly, it could be a documentary. <laughs> He's playing himself. Um, I mean, yeah, because he, he lost the role of Kang, but was that as a result of, be, of the allegations, or was that as a result of being convicted? Convicted, because they first froze the role. Because he did want to wait to see what the uh, conviction would be. Okay. Uh, so they weren't gonna, gonna do any more recordings and uh, any more Marvel movies with Kang like currently being produced, but they didn't freeze it just yet. But yeah, as soon as they he's got oh, they basically uh, destroyed his contract. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, if if that is correct, then it's surprising that he's immediately got another acting role. But crazier things have happened. I don't know why, he's not even that good of an actor. Well, the only thing I've seen him in is Quantumania, which is not a good... Um, <laughs> not a good example, not a good showcase of acting talent. Let's put it that way. I also don't really understand why like, Ant-Man of all heroes got like three movies. I just... Uh, well, I can understand why. Yeah, I um, mean, Paul Rudd is charismatic as hell, but well, well, like, Ant-Man, yeah. like... Sure, but then you could say the same thing about Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, who the hell are the Guardians of the Galaxy? But, um, like, uh, the the reason why it got that many films is, well, the, I mean, the simplest reason is because they were successful enough. But also, I think that Paul Rudd as Ant Man kind of did what um, Robert Downey Jr. did to Iron Man. It was like, who the hell is Iron Man? The only people who knew who Iron Man was in two thousand and seven. Yeah, the only people who knew who Iron Man was in 2007 were people who read, read comic books, which is going to be a vast minority of people who ended up watching Marvel movies. Um, so he kind of... Well, I guess introduced it to a new audience and people liked what he did with it. Um, which you could say exactly the same thing for, like, the Guardians of the Galaxy, so... I mean... Post Endgame, how much of the like the popular characters did Disney even have left to work with? Um, well, I'd say most of their like big hitters kind of tapped out in terms of their actors. I ended up getting stuff like the Eternals. Sure, yeah, which no one really cares about. <laughs> I watched it. And, um, yeah. yeah, I watched it. I wish I did. <laughs> um. It, yeah, I mean, who who is the most po the most popular has got to be um, what's his name, Doctor Strange, right? Oh, well, no, Spider Man actually saying that, but he, but then given what happened to Spider Man in um, No Way Home is the most recent one. Like, it's he, he may well not be appearing in any future Marvel products. So yeah, and it was like the, the Sony rights held that they were in Spider Man. Yeah, exactly. So he's gone. You've lost Iron Man. You've lost Black Widow. You've lost um, Captain America. So, 
apart from them, I guess the most popular I would have Don't thought forget, would be Doctor Strange. They still, but... they, they still are, oh wait, Morbius is Spider-Verse, is this Sony? Morbius is Sony Spider-Verse, yeah. Oh. Wait, were you about to suggest that, that, that Morbius is one of the most popular? Damn it. Shit, shit. Nope, we're okay. I got bouncy bouncers over here. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm really... Uh, I don't want to say interested, because it's not the right word, but I'm really curious what the hell they're going to do with uh, Doctor Strange right now, because... Uh, hmm. Who knows? I mean, he's a he's a plot device, basically. He's a glorified plot device at this point. Um, Yonder Tanner says, "Is it Saitama in a live-action One Punch Man?" Oh, I, 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 I'm guessing that's referencing what Jonathan Majors might be playing. <laughs> um, Evie says, "Apparently, apparently, it will be a supernatural revenge film called Merciless, which I have not heard of." Well, the, the title is fitting. Uh, it is fitting, yeah. A bit of, um, what's it called? Method acting. I got the terminal. What was it that he was found guilty of? It, it was, it, was it literally wife beating or was Domest it something else? Domestic abuse. Okay. Don't know the exact charges, but I do know it was domestic abuse. Well then. So it's not exactly something that you can say, oh, well, he didn't mean it. He's all grown up now, like a year later. <laughs> or was this something that happened a long time ago? Not a clue. Okay. I'm guessing probably not, but I, who knows. Oh, evac's right next to here. Well, that's good. Yeah. No penis rock. Uh, Treeman says Harder They Fall was good, which I've also not heard of, if, that, if that's a uh, Netflix film. I'll have to have a look, because there def there's definitely some that I'm forgetting, but... Broadly, they do not have a good track record for making films. May liberty guide your safe extraction. Um, I've been really enjoying some of the uh, South Korean war films that have been coming up on there. On Netflix? Yeah. Okay. Any in particular? I can't say that I've um, ever seen a South Korean uh, war film, I don't think. I think there's one called... I think it's called Two Brothers? And it's about uh, the, uh, the Korean War where... One brother is fighting for the uh, for the uh, South Koreans. The other is fighting for the North. Okay. Calling in extraction. Third time lucky typing in that code. There we go. Hey, found something. So who, um... Oh, hey, we found the super samples. Oh, oh Venus Rock, nice. we found it. What do you mean, we? We? Um, yeah, this is possibly a very silly question, but who are the Avengers right now? Like, if they made Avengers, like, tomorrow, who, who, who are they? Oh, shit! Surprise! Oh my god, surprise bile type! <laughs> Coming out of the goddamn wall! Uh, I reckon Doctor Strange... Doctor Strange and Captain Marvel would be the only two that I could the say would happen, right? Yeah, oh wait, the, the Guardians of the Galaxy don't really exist anymore. Um, about She-Hulk. Well, I haven't seen She-Hulk, the show, obviously, so I, I don't know. Really. True, actually, yeah, the Hulk. Uh, Hawkeye, does he... He's, he's still alive, right? I mean, unless he's killed off in the Hawkeye TV show, which I would be surprised if that happens, but maybe. And, um, Evie, you say Spider-Man, so that I don't know, because it, it depends on what license Sony worked out with Disney, whether they're allowed to use him in, um, in Avengers properties. Because... I don't believe they're going to be, unless they change their mind or, or renegotiate or whatever, I don't believe they're able to make any more Marvel Spider-Man movies, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't, that they can't use the Spider-Man character in other movies like Avengers films. Um, but no, sorry, hold on, that, even that doesn't work, because doesn't, I, I guess this is spoilers for a film that came out a couple of years ago, doesn't 
No Way Home end with Spider-Man in like a different reality? Or is he just... No. No? No. Because um... he, he goes off on his own yeah, and yeah, has to do his own thing, right? Without spoiling all budget. I, I mean, it, uh, the film came out like a couple of years ago, so yeah, I've seen it. In. Okay, no. Oh, yep, 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 I got you, I got you, I got you. Um... No, it's too late. Uh, once oh. someone gets in, it... Oh, fuck. Sorry. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, I got you're you. in? in. Right, lovely. Right, let's go. You got seven seconds. Shit. Sheet, sheet. Yes. Uh, Did you make it? it. Yeah. it. <laughs> nice. As far as I'm aware, like, it's, it's, it's still in the same universe, but it was like an event, so probably like the, the barriers between different dimensions are still somewhat shattered. And uh, nobody in the uh, in his universe, at least, remembers who Peter Parker is. That's right. Okay, so Funk, so so, so literally, he's in the same not reality. Know to contact Peter Parker for Spider-Man, they don't know. Yeah. You know, he's, yeah. He's, a, he's a thing. Okay, yeah. If that's the case, then unless they just wreck on that by saying, and then Doctor Strange woke up and remembered that Spider-Man exists, then that me that's their way of writing him out of the MCU. So, what have we got then? We've got Captain Marvel, we've got um, Hulk and possibly She-Hulk, we've got Doctor Strange, Captain Falcon America, I guess, does he count? I, I don't know. I, I guess so, yeah. Because yeah, I haven't seen the, the show, so I really don't know. Hawkeye? Um, and uh, Ant-Man still lives after, because I haven't seen Ant-Man 3. I think so, but I honestly can't remember. Um, super chat from Darkington. Hello. Uh, so the super chat says 20. I don't know if that's meant to be, if you meant to say something else, but either way, thank you for, thank you for 20 um, <laughs> I know Scarlett Johansson is not going to return in the role, but Black Widow is still alive technically, right? Uh, Black, oh. no, Black Widow dies in no, Endgame. No, but... Yeah, she's she's dead, but her oh, I forgot. Yeah. adopted sister is still around. Yelena. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that might happen. Uh, Darkington says, "I just didn't have a good comment, to be honest." Well, either way, much appreciated. Still, um, what's his name? Uh, Captain America's like psycho friend, oh, the Winter Soldier. Uh, yeah, Bucky. Darkington Bucky. just said Bucky as well. Yeah, Evie also says Moon Knight, but I haven't seen Moon Knight, so honestly, I don't know. Is he part of the Avengers movement? I don't, I don't know. I mean, he exists, so maybe. So, I mean, it's 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 Marvel. Like everyone's been part of the Avengers on occasion. Yeah. Fucking dead, yeah, fucking Deadpool has been an Avenger. Oh, that's true. Actually, dead. Well, no, actually, hold on, because depending on how Deadpool three ends. It, it, no, it I might... mean in the comics. Sure, but uh, if if they're gonna end up yeah. using. I would be very surprised if they're going to end up using Deadpool outside of Deadpool movies, because I know that he's technically part of the universe, but as soon as you add the character of Deadpool into a MCU film, or not an MCU film, a, an Avengers film, you're going to inherently have to do edgy humor, which means it's either not going to be Deadpool, or it's going to be uh, you know, an R-rated Avengers film, which is not going to happen, that's not going to be on the table. Yeah, um, no, there's. I think there is one actual way that you could get away with a PG-13 Deadpool movie, complete. and that is have the entire joke be around that he can say fuck once. You could and do he that. He is waiting for the perfect time to say it. Just have him absolutely aware that he is in a PG-13. Yeah, you could go. You could go very meta with it and have him be like, I, "I'm not allowed to say certain things because Mickey Mouse has yeah, my nuts and Have, like, have the PG-13 logo come up, Deadpool looking, coming out on the screen, <laughs> watching behind him, be like, "Fuck." So, like, I I like that as an idea, but I think that that idea would work a lot better in a standalone Deadpool film rather than a an Avengers film. Um, oh, absolutely. I think if you absolutely. try and do that in an Avengers film, it will be like, well. You know, he the character shows up and he can't swear and everyone knows why. But yeah, I don't. Honestly, it depends on how the new Deadpool film ends. Um. Yeah. So I guess next question is: out of all of those characters, do any of them make you interested in going going to see an Avengers movie? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, where, where's the hook? Initiated. 
Because they're gonna. Yeah. Are they MCU kind of died after Endgame? Are they still doing um, the the Kang Wars or whatever it's called? The Kang Dynasty as as Avengers? Is he still the big dick Avengers threat, or have they completely backtracked on that? And they're setting up something else because it's rumors that they they are writing him out, but I have, I, I haven't seen any confirmation that that's the actual truth. Well, because supposedly they were doing that, and now that Jonathan Majors is out as Kang. What mission is this, by the way? I wasn't... It's a defense mission. Oh, lovely. Okay. Um, yeah, now that Jonathan Majors is out as Kang, I thought that they had basically just completely changed their minds on what the big bad was going to be for Phase 5 or whatever it is. I have no idea exactly what they're going to do. Um, yeah. Um... I mean, the only one of those that I guess I would see... Well, no, no. I would say um, Doctor Strange and Ant-Man. That's basically it. And, Treeman, you're quite right. So I was going to mention this. There is a There was a re-edited version of Deadpool 2 that was a PG-13. I... I can't remember what it was called, but apparently it was not great. Like, it was the same film, but it was a heavily censored version. I um, think I launched this a bit early. Because I haven't done them before. Oh, you haven't done one of these before? No, I haven't. So okay. I'll put, like, oh, terminal, let's activate it, and then, uh... These missions are fun. Yeah, thanks for... Yeah. So, uh, Darkington says, I think they were going to lean into Doctor Doom, which would mean that they're setting all of that up with the Fantastic Four movies, so that's possible. Um... I mean, not knowing really anything about Fantastic Four, Doctor Doom... Would be considered an Avengers level threat or no? Yes, Doctor Doom is probably in the Marvel Universe one of the most dangerous superheroes out there. Okay, so then that makes sense, but it does then mean that they're banking on Fantastic Four being um, not shit. Because, of course, if it's, if it's terrible, then it's like, well, we've introduced our big bad for the next movie and uh, no one cares. <laughs> so what do we do now? Do we get Kang back? <laughs> I mean, I think you kind of have to bear in mind that this is Disney, and if they wanted to, if they could somehow coax them back, they just have Robert Downey Jr. just be in the next movie. Oh, like, wow, yeah. What do you mean? No, oh, it's it's an alternate reality Iron Man. Don't worry about it. Alternate Iron Man. God damn it. No one's ever really gone. Wait, wasn't there wasn't there like Iron Girl or something? Like Iron Heart? Iron Girl? Yeah, Iron, Iron yeah. Heart. Yeah, yeah she's uh. Yeah. She's fucking useless. Who, is this in comics or in the films? Yeah. Which, which? Like, she... Oh shit, here we go. Sorry, which, which is it? Does she appear in a film? Because if it's just comics, I won't know who this is. No, she she's just in a comic and yeah, her whole thing is that she's... Uh, the entire point of her is that she's black and iron... Uh, and, and, and it is a girl. That's, oh. that's all the key. Oh, shoot. Hold on, doesn't she show she up in... in uh... Yeah, she's in the Wakanda, was it? Yes! Black Panther movie. Yeah, Wakanda Forever. She's I have seen that, yes. I she completely... built an Iron Man suit in her garage with a box of scraps. Oh my god. <laughs> so that reminds me, I, I, have you guys seen Pacific Rim? Yes. Yeah, so I quite like Pacific Rim. It's um, it, it definitely has problems, but it, I do really, really enjoy it. Um, and I rewatched it. Movie. Yeah, I, I rewatched it the other day with a friend, and um, it just reminded me that in Pacific Rim Two, so in in Pacific Rim One, the setup is that uh, these giant Godzilla monsters start attacking us. So all of like all, all the countries on Earth basically put the differences aside and decided to make giant robots to punch them to death. It's like, all right, cool. Um, tank, you just killed me. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and it took them 14 months, there's a line in the film, it took them 14 months to make the first, um, the first iteration of the Jaegers. And then in Pacific Rim 2, you get a very similar thing to what we just said for Iron Man, Iron Man Girl. Um, there's just like a teenager who's like, yeah, I built a Jaeger in my garage. Like, what the fuck do you mean you built a Jaeger in your garage? Are you just trying to undermine the entire set? <laughs> it's oh, that's got some wasted laser, whatever. That's not wasted, it looks good on my screen. Although I did drop a laser in there. Uh, not a laser, a guard dog. There we go. 
Uh, oops. Um, Nothing Man says, The Boys Season 4 and all of these modern movies perfectly illustrate how painful it is when significantly unintelligent writers cannot write smart or well-written or realized characters. You are not wrong, but I have not actually seen Season 4 of The Boys, and uh, that's because I gave up after Season 2. Season 2 broke me, and um, I, I, maybe I'll do a video on Season 2, because I I really did quite like Season 1, and then Season 2 just shut the bed on in every possible way. I, I think, at least. Um, so I never watched Season 3. <laughs> Um, also, Evie says, I don't think this would make sense, but they could bring Wanda, uh, Wanda back. Um, they could put her back on the Avengers and, may, and redeem her somehow. <laughs> I guess it depends on how well, desperate they are, because I don't know how much of a draw that character is. Like, on her own. I mean, it's also Marvel. No one stays dead, just like DC. No one stays dead. No one's ever really gone. Oh. Like, Batman has died several times. <laughs> does, um, does Wanda die at the end of Multiverse of Madness? I honestly cannot remember. Uh, Unclear. I think she kind of sacrifices herself to book or something like that. She, uh, she collapses the building on top of herself. And then you don't see what happens. You, yeah. you technically don't see her die. Okay, so... Okay. Yeah, so then they could just they could shot her out again if they if they want to. I don't know. I feel like if they were to if they were to just go completely balls balls out and say like, well, we're going to bring back Iron Man. We're going to have Robert Downey Jr. back as Iron Man. Assuming that he even agrees to it, that's going to cost them like fifty to sixty million dollars immediately. I was about to say like, I don't, as long as the paycheck is big enough, he's not going to make any problems. I reckon. Yeah, um, but then you'll you'll get. You'll get bums in seats for people who are just like, I want to see Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. It's like, fine. But then at the same time, I feel like a lot of those people are going to be of the view that, well, it, the story of Tony Stark is done. Like, you can't just, I mean, you can bring him back, but like, who cares? The fact that it's the face that I know and saying the words that I know is only going to go so far. Um... So I don't even think that that would be enough to make people what, go and watch Avengers 5 or whatever whatever number it is. Don't you like the taste of freedom? Hey, what about Echo? Who the hell is Echo? The hit TV show, Echo. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what Who that is. Who the hell is Echo is the correct answer, yeah. <laughs> oh, Echo, jeez. Yeah, but seriously, who is Echo? <laughs> <laughs> does, does Echo appear in anything other than the Echo TV show? Nope. nope. Okay, then that explains it. But then that's the thing. I, I like I, I know who She-Hulk is, and I haven't seen She-Hulk. Did no one talk about Echo? Is that? Nope. Okay. Not really. They just got the show prophetic, got put so out. Prophetic, to be honest, <laughs> don't <be> talked about it. <laughs> I don't even think Disney, like, did any marketing for it. Like, everyone knew it was just gonna die on release. Right, okay. They just pushed it out there and accepted it. Just get it out as quick as possible so we can make room for the next one, kind of thing. Yeah, just just get some content on Disney Plus so we can say we have a new show. Didn't they have, um... Yes, uh, in the Marvels, there's a post-credit scene involving what's her name, Kate Bishop from the the, the Hawkeye show, which and I didn't know who she was because I've not seen the fucking Hawkeye show. <laughs> and she's like, "I'm putting together a special team," and then it like cliffhangers you. So I don't I don't know if that's going to end up being the Avengers or, or uh, God knows. Probably. It's, it's the Disney MCU reaches its final and in inevitable end state where all the characters are just teenage girls. Yeah, pretty much. Oh shit, yeah, that's a point actually, I'd forgotten. So, um, isn't Iron, not Iron Man, Ant-Man is now Ant-Girl, right? Or does, is Paul Rudd still Ant-Man? Because I know that his, his daughter is, like, replaces him basically, but, um, is he still... Because he doesn't die in Ant-Man 3, at least as far as I can remember. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, I guess, I guess potentially both of them could show up. Honestly, who knows? Nothing would surprise me at this point. I got supplies over here. Oh, uh, Nothing Man says Kate Bishop, Miss Marvel, Squirrel Girl. Who the hell is Squirrel Girl? Squirrel Girl is a literal joke of a character. She is. She can talk to squirrels and move like a squirrel, basically. What do you mean she can and move like a squirrel? Yeah, she moves like a squirrel and is unbeatable. Like she can climb trees. Didn't she even yes. like, get hit by cars? Or make like the feet Thanos on her own? Yeah. Like that's that's her whole joke is that she's amazing and can't be beaten. All right. So, uh, Kate Bishop, Miss Marvel, Squirrel Girl, America Chavez, and Echo are on the team known as the Young Avengers. I mean, I yes, guess... Yes, and they're completely useless. I guess they haven't... They haven't introduced Squirrel Girl. To be honest, based on your description just now, I'd watch a Squirrel Girl movie. I think that could be quite funny. Maybe they'll introduce her in Deadpool 3. Honestly, <laughs> who knows? That be the only time, like the one time that Deadpool gets the hell to use. Fuck. It's just when he meets Squirrel Girl. It's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, there are things you could do there. Uh, yeah, who knows? Also, uh, Sparks and Darkington say in chat, which I'd completely forgotten. What about the Asian Barbie man Shang Chi? And what about Shang Chi's friend who learned to be a master archer in ten minutes? <laughs> Oh, Shang-Chi, I even, I totally forgot about that. I'd completely forgotten about that movie. I think nobody outside of Asia cared. Well, I'm not even sure if people inside of Asia cared, but... Didn't it? What, wasn't it gonna get a sequel and then it didn't? It beats me, I haven't seen it. And there was in a time where there was still some hope for Marvel movies. I definitely watched it, but I couldn't tell you the first thing about it. Oh, god damn it! Tank, your Tesla tower killed me. Good. Your your uh, um, sentries constantly kill me. <laughs> oh well, that's just lovely. Oh no, we're free. Okay, I was clipped into the wall. Uh, we're almost done, by the way. Oh, good. Very bueno. Where's my guard doggy? I stole it. There he is. Luckily, I keep a spare. Um, apparently Suicide, the, the good Suicide Squad, had a spoof version of Squirrel Girl, uh, which was Ratcatcher. Um, which... Yeah, uh, Ratcatcher was pretty good. Yeah, Ratcatcher was... Well, I mean, Ratcatcher was extremely silly, but the, that movie is extremely silly. It's just really well done. Like, it knew when to, when to be serious. But, you know, if you were to just take that character and port her into Marvel... It wouldn't work at all, I think. Unless, of course, it was James Gunn doing it, but James Gunn's not going to do another Marvel film, I don't think. At least not anytime soon. Oh, and how could we possibly forget the Eternals? They exist, right? There's like 13 do, of them. Do they? Do they? Yeah. Apparently. I, can't... I, I don't remember them. Name I one of them. them. Genuinely, try, try as hard as you can and name one of them. Chat, oh, try, try this as well. Try and name one of them off the top of your head, because I don't think I can. Uh, Rob Stark. Who? <laughs> Rob Stark. <laughs> oh, Rob Stark, yes. Oh, wait, no, 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 I think I can actually do this. Isn't his name Icarus? And I say that because he he flies into the sun, doesn't he? I, I, or am I misremembering? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure that happens, and maybe that's why I'm thinking that his name is Icarus. I could be totally wrong there, though. Yeah, the fact that in a lot of single movie, the giant, what is it, the giant space baby thing is ever mentioned. 
giant space baby. Yeah, basically the Earth is like an egg for like one of those space gods things. Oh. And at the end of the movie, like yeah. there's this giant face and arm just sticking out of the ocean, then they stop it, so it kind of like petrifies. But it must be like catastrophically huge, but it's never mentioned. Yeah, you'd think that would cause a little bit of flooding, if uh, if nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Darkington Jon Snow, from memory, was Mission in the film, but I don't think he was one of the Eternals. Oh, I love I love how everyone, including Marvel, has just completely forgotten about that movie. Yeah. I think, I think I it's great. About, you think it's great? The only thing I remember about the Eternals was all the marketing talking about how it's the most diverse movie in the MCU. So I mean, that's that that's probably out, true. No one cared. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna no go one really cares about that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be right back. I just got to run to the washroom. Yeah, no problem. Uh, God, who else? Who were the other Eternals? There was... Were they even that diverse? Oh no, there was one of them was gay. That's probably what that was referring to. I ve I vaguely remember. And also, no, one of them, one of the Eternals was the guy from um, Train to Busan, which is a fantastic movie. But fucked if I can remember his name in um, in the Eternals. <laughs> Right, what is this mission? Uh, evacuation. What about here? Okay. Um, Yonder Tanner says, I think Salsa Hayek was in it, so I know who you, I don't think her name is Salsa Hayek, although I do quite like that. But yeah, I, I think she was in it. Vaguely. I think, I, wasn't Angelina Jolie in that? Like, there were a lot of people in that movie. And then everyone promptly forgot forgot about it. I mean, at least Black Widow had the excuse of it coming out on um, Disney Plus and not in cinemas. And also, it was shit. So you know, uh, sure, but I I mean, they were both shit. Like, it, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, you know, it was actually a pretty a pretty fun movie. Uh, Sisu. Oh, that I've heard good things about, but I've not actually seen it. That's a, yeah, I it, thought it was fit, a pretty good food. Swedish movie, Finnish movie, I can't remember. Uh, it's a Finnish. It's a movie about a Finnish uh, goaltender. Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, I think we should just drop onto the extraction zone and just go right around. Uh, Makes sense to me. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. This is bugs again. Yep. Yep. Okay. Sparks, you're right. Yeah, so Scarlett Johansson, as far as I'm aware, she ended up suing Disney because of the whole um, yep. releasing it on... Because I think she was supposed to get a percentage of the back end from from the box office, and by releasing yep. it simultaneously on Disney+, Plus, uh, it, of course, it's going to make less money in cinemas. Um, which, I, I'm trying to remember exactly when that came out. They did that presumably because of COVID? Yeah, it was during COVID. Yeah, that's the thing, is if they didn't do that and it was just released in cinemas, the film is still going to make a lot less than it otherwise would because of COVID. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm guessing Disney presumably settled with them, but maybe they didn't. Honestly, who knows? Because, of course, the character's dead. There's not going to be a Black Widow part two, so... Oh, well, that's funny. Shrieker nest. Oh, uh, shit. Okay. Fucking hell. Yep, you're right. Shrieker jump scare. That's what we need. That's what we like. Uh, it's fine. Um, we're fine. We're fine. Nothing, man. I will answer you in one sec. Oh. Once, once we're fine. 
We're fine right now. Well, we're kind of moderately just okay. Screechers. Just screechers. I think there's two nests right next to each other. I think so too. Okay. Uh, nothing, man. So, I guess, yeah, there's a few more people in the stream now. So, um, on Monday, hopefully, and I say hopefully, I mean I'm pretty sure this is what will happen. The Arcane video will go live again because Netflix have until then to take legal action against me, which they're not going to do. Um, and at that point on Monday, when that doesn't happen, the video will go back up which then means I can start contesting the other copyright claims on my other videos that I plan to release. The first of which is on Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning, which is not very good. So the next video is going to be that. Um, it is unlikely that it will be released next Friday, as in a week today. Oh, fucking hell, guys, I need help. I need help. I'm so happy. Where are you? I'm so <laughs> Uh-oh. Um... Yeah, so best case scenario, it'll be released a week today. Otherwise, it'll be two weeks today. And then after that, we got another video lined up. But I am not going to say what it is just yet. Okay, see? We're fine. We're fine. We're doing We're fine. good. Only one person died, which was me. Where did my guard I mean, go? that's you. Oh, hello. <laughs> What's up? What do we got? A charger right in my face, just oh, standing okay. there. Because he's. All right, let's deal with this bug nest that's right here. Wait. Uh. Dead yes, down. there we go. Perfecto. Oh, hold on. There's a shiny over here. I'm just gonna go grab it. Or at least I'm going to try and grab it. Oh. Uh. Come on, space cash. Um, Nothing Man says, awesome, looking forward to it. On a different channel, no promo intended. I'm a music producer, composer, so if you ever want original background music, let me know. Um, thank you for the offer. So, at the moment, that's not something I'm looking for, because all the music I do, I just, I, I do myself. Because I'm also heavily into that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, in the uh, future, potentially, I will let you know. And uh, because of the various copyright issues that I've been having. I also took the uh, opportunity to get a bit we... of writing done myself oh. on some death metal, which may or may not over there? be being oh, released soon. Nest. Yeah, I'm already shooting at it. Is that what you got pinged on the... over there? Dropping a pin. East. Yeah. Okay, I'm on my way over. Meters. Take it. Engaging. I think you missed. Yeah, I did. Oh, hold on. Orbital Pretty funny, like missing an entire, you know, space barn. You should, you should do what they do in Rebel Moon and get a target lock on a village that isn't moving. <laughs> I think you missed again. That I, I keep hearing like a. It, it almost sounds like a siren going off. Are you guys hearing that, or is that something outside my? Mm, is it my hearing? Is it coming through my microphone? Mm, uh, maybe you're, maybe the Germans have returned and they just decide to start, you know, blitzing you again. Well, it could potentially be my dog, but I somewhat doubt that he's because he's not in the room with me. But if it was, then he'd be coming through the microphone if it was that loud. Um, as a yeah, yeah, satellite, perfecto. It is, I think that's the primary. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Neptune. So, if you want to listen to my death metal, um, look up the band Hellbore on Spotify or um, iTunes or whatever you use. 
for streaming. H E L L B O R E. Um. Yeah. We have an EP. Yay! And war an crimes on bugs. Indeed, the best kinds of war crimes. Oh, I just gassed them, and then lit them on fire. For good measure. <laughs> Um, okay. in Cook, so Arcane Part 3 is currently on hold. I am going to do it, but uh, I've, well, basically I've made other videos instead that I've prioritized, and I am not going to be able to do Part 3 before Rings of Power comes out, which means it's not happening until after Rings of Power Season 2 at the earliest, which means it's not coming out before Season 2 of Arcane. Um... Which is, I, I mean, I get that it's disappointing, but I've got to prioritize um, uh, Rings of Power. As for the Season 2 trailer, someone asked earlier in chat, and I should have replied then, I totally forgot. I have not seen the Season 2 trailer for Arcane, and I don't plan to. I'm going to just, I, I don't really want to know anything about it. Um, I'm just going to watch it on release, and hopefully it'll be as good as Season 1. We can hope. Yeah, but then it will convince a bunch of people to, like, actually play Arcane. Oh, play League of Legends, you mean? Yeah, or, yeah. So, I mean, that's true. Um, it may or may not have happened to me when Season 1 came out, but, um... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I used to play it ages and ages ago, and then it made me go back to the game when Season 1 came out. Um, the, uh, the satellite dish is all good. I can just switch this on straight away. And... And what, like, did their costumes on those characters, like the original costumes, or that they kind of alter them so they can, like, sell those costumes in the game? Yeah, they do them as skins. There's arcane skins for the various... Knew it. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so... I have, I've actually completely uninstalled League of Legends because of there's basically some controversy going on with uh, Vanguard, if any of you know what that is. No. So... I'll give you the short I found version. A door. Okay, nice. I'll give you the short version, and then anyone who wants to know, um, I guess, in more detail, there is. There's a, I think Richard Lewis is the guy's name. A friend showed me his channel, and he made a video where he basically investigated what was going on with it. And um, yeah, so Vanguard is Riot's anti-cheat software that they used for Valorant for quite a while, and they have recently made it compulsory for League of Legends, which means if you currently, right now, have League of Legends installed, you have Vanguard installed on your computer. And typically I don't care about this kind of thing, um, but there's two things that make it a bit questionable. One is that uh, Riot is, I mean, they're not a Chinese company, but essentially they're a Chinese company. Um, and the access that Vanguard has to your PC is to use technical words that I don't understand, kernel level, which is not normal for anti-cheat software, which means that theoretically it can access, it, it, it turns on as soon as you turn your computer on and it's always uh, running in the background. Ooh. Sorry, I need uh, I need some help over here. Okay, I mean, I'm with bleeders. Um, yeah, Silly Frog's close to you. Um, and the other issue is that I have seen, there are multiple reports of Vanguard bricking people's computers by fucking around with the BIOS on certain motherboards. Um, and even making certain unrelated games on Steam completely unplayable. And... Wow. Yeah, and Riot... No, we're good. Uh, and what Riot are doing is they're basically... Riot and the mods on various League of Legends subreddits and forums are heavily censoring the various issues that are going on. Um, like, claiming that basically this... that everything I've just said is complete bullshit. And this YouTube channel who, again, I think, I believe the guy's name is Richard Lewis, but I'll have to, I might post it in Discord after the stream, because I can't remember. He, uh, basically, he brought receipts. He has a bunch of screenshots of deleted threads, and there's a lot of them on Reddit of people reporting these kinds of problems. I believe he personally had two computers bricked by Vanguard. Um, ah, crap, 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 crap. How are you still alive? Fucking hell. Why won't you die? Super credits. Reloading. 
Yeah, like a, uh, a while ago, because that was from the makers from there's the a, um, oh. There's a, there's uh, a, there's a, uh, what you call it? Meth, right? Ness. Yeah. Meth. They uh, have a game, uh, The Altars. They, they released a demo for it now. Well, in order for you to play the demo, you need to uh, basically sign off that they will scan your computer and they will track it if you if you buy it. But then they can also share it with third parties without your consent. This is the demo for what? Sorry. The altars, which is like a uh, indie like studio game. Right. Okay. But like, I, I'd, I'd be fine with them like tracking if you buy the game and some data, but then them also selling that information to third parties without your. Uh, yeah. Explicit consent. Like what? Um, I mean the that... like that kind of shit happens all the time. Honestly, um, and like same with like the Vanguard thing that I that I explained. But the bit that makes the Vanguard example a little bit more um, yeah problematic, I guess, worse. is that they're, they're censoring genuine problems that people are having. It's not a small number of people that are having these problems, and. The, the anti-cheat software is fucking around with parts of the computer that it has absolutely no it, no right being there. Yeah. Um, which means uh, that you can't you can't knowingly like meaningfully consent to it doing that because they're concealing the fact that it's doing. Can you uh, can you? Yeah. Can you uh, can you sim me? I got no sims left. Oh yeah. I got no ammunition left. Uh, bleeders, I've got one of the hard drives. Can you grab that uh, one there? I didn't think I stood myself. Yeah. Oh. Oh fuck, I need to plug it in. Oh, I have to plug it in there. Yeah, thank you. That's just me being a dirt, right. Um, Neptune, to answer your question, um, all the guitars and the bass in Hellbore is me. Ah, That's a lot of fucking... Damn it! Ah. Yeah, we, um... I, uh, I completely forgot. We have to keep. Uh, we have to keep together because um, they punish you for breaking up the okay. team. Uh, the team. We Do need to go and rescue. Uh, I I still need to be carrying this hard drive, right? I've got to take it to the evac point. Uh, I think so now. No, well, because yeah. I've still got the hard drive. Like. Dropping item. Yeah. And Another? if you have a. Uh, Dropping package. Not sure. I don't um, think so, no. Okay. Parallax plugins. No, so from memory, because I've changed around what I do on the bass guitar. I'm trying to remember. On the on the album, I most of the bass guitar there is a combination of Kemper and Sanzam. And on the EP, it's I think just Kemper. Um but yeah, I, I'm familiar with the Parallax Bass plugin, and I have used it, but I didn't use it on either of those projects, I don't think. No, no, don't let me die now, please. Uh, yeah, we need to keep. Uh, we need to keep with. Uh... Yeah, we're we're, we're grouped right, up again now. Go. We're good. Good. I need to reach the boss so bad. Oh. Oh, is my is my doggo bubbles. woofing? Nope, not back in here. Should be closed. Oh, oh that was annoying. Uh, yes. <laughs> Have we found the thing is rough yet? Yes, we did. Oh, nice. Ada boob. Sorry, I couldn't resist. All right, let's go deal with the, uh... Hold on. My doggo is wooing. Just give me one sec. I need to see what he's doing. There's the, uh, the behemoth. Go on, in your bed. Stop a wooing, there's no one there. Right, we're back. Yeah, I wouldn't go over there. Uh, yeah, seems like a... I'll go this way. No, that plant will kill me. There we go, right. What 
What is going on there? Is that a charger uh, clipped inside of another charger? Oh, that is another charger. <laughs> oh no, there we go. That's a third charger. Fuck. Okay. Come on, rockets. Yay. Uh, bleeders, have you got a, um... If you got a shield off of cooldown. I've got a guard dog if you want one. I prefer the shield. Okay. Yeah, start pressing buttons. Oh, okay, we're doing this? Yeah. So what? What is that uh, objective with the hard drive then? Because we just kind of dropped it over there, and it doesn't—we don't appear to need it for anything. Yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah. But what? There's a third part. There's a third part to it, but um. Uh, that's uh. Uh, uh higher difficulties. English was completely fucking with me there. Okay. What is wrong with that? There we go. He's got it. It was a blingy way to the south. Yep, I see it. Oh, uh, I'm also out of stims. Did someone drop a resupply? Yeah, right over here. Okay, nice. I'll head over. Hell dive is the best way to play. Well, before we end the stream, I think we should do a hell dive. <laughs> and probably fail. Oh can, yeah, we'll, we'll probably fail. We can at least try it. Uh, surprise. Where are they? Here we go. There's a bling down here. God dang it. No overkill whatsoever. Oh, penis rock. I got a penis rock. Yeah, we've already got it. Oh, we've already got it. Oh, damn it. Sorry, penis <laughs> rock. Well, I'll just keep going. I'll grab the bling. It's just going to be like a useless weapon or something, isn't it? Maybe it'll be space cash. It could be space cash. Beep. I swear to God, don't die. Come on, bling. Super credits. It was space cash. Nice weapon. Nice. Oh, that was worth it. Actually, let me check and see if there's any um, thingies, samples. And they have terrazine. Here we go. Um, Incook says, I'm sure this has been asked before, but why Kronk? Do you intend on making iterative changes with him until he's your own, or do you plan on keeping the basic with the same? Don't you worry about lawyers. Um, why Kronk? Uh, it was, it's a face swap of Kronk and Yzma, and the reason for that is because I just find it funny. There's, there is no deeper meaning to it. Um, also, yeah. I picked it when I had like 50 subs, so it didn't really matter to be completely honest. Um, but then, yeah, like the various different designs of it, I do really like that, uh, that HP Lefty makes for me. 
So, uh, in terms of lawyers, no, I don't see that as being a problem. It's, I mean, it's transformative. I, I, I doubt that I would be able to s sell, like, a t-shirt or something with it on, legally. Like, it would, if I was to ever do that, it would be at a scale that, there's a Battle Titan here. It would be at a scale yes, there is. where Disney, Disney are not going to notice something like that. Um, given the size of my channel. But, yeah, theoretically that would be a concern. But me using it in a video is to, is different to me selling it as, like, a physical product. Um, I doubt that, for copyright reasons, I'd be able to do that, but I also don't plan on doing that, so it doesn't really matter. Well, I'm on my way. Um, the Bile Titan is not following me. Yeah, be careful, there's poison gas there. <laughs> the best kind. Alright, what do we got? 30 seconds. What is your favorite band? Um... It de Favorite band, I can't name one. If I had to name one, it would be Dream Theater. Um, but I also can't just name one. So, <laughs> it depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Oh, why would you do that? Because it's funny. Um, recently, bands that I've been enjoying, Fire Schwans would be one, Sabaton would be another, um, Archspire, Sh uh, Shadow of Intent, Slaughter to Prevail. Uh, oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh. I've seen shorts of the lead singer of Slaughter to Prevail, and like, what the fuck? In Cook, that's a very weird question, but I'm gonna ask, answer it anyway. One more question before I get back to work. Is the goose God's ultimate creation? Born with the power to fly, float, and walk, and with enough anger to scare away even the toughest of foes? Um, I feel like if that's your criteria for the for God's ultimate creation, then there's got to be a better answer than a goose, right? I mean, a swan is angrier than a goose, or am I? Am I? Am no, I? Oh, goose am I are, geese are geese are are fucking terrible. Okay. I, I mean, maybe I'm yeah. biased against swans because I got bitten by a swan when I was like three years old or something. So, I, swans are just assholes. Whereas geese, I've never really had a problem with. Every day, I like every day I go jogging around the uh, the track that we have here. And every day, I am assaulted by geese. <laughs> I just got a major order completed. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. Okay. The new one. The new major order is bots. Okay. Are you ready, Well, yeah. I'm not too sure that I want to do a bot mission on level 9. I mean, we could always try it, but I feel like doing it on bugs will be no. a little bit better. <laughs> um. Well, I guess, I mean, the options we've got at the moment, whatever that final mission is there on this um, operation, 
we could do a bot mission or we could do a level nine bug mission. After we do this one? After, oh, you want to do, if we do this one and then we can do either the bot mission or we can do a level nine bug mission. Um, um yeah. I'm leaning towards level nine bugs because, um, I think I'll probably be good for, I've drunk a lot of whiskey today. I think I'll probably be good for probably two more missions, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think up here. Uh, what is this mission again, sorry? Recover hard drive. Uh, yeah. No, uh, ICBM, I think. Okay, that's fine, cool. No, no, it's, uh, retrieve valu uh, valuable data. Data, yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh. Nope, that was me being an idiot. At a certain point, I think bugs get harder than bots, but that just could could just be my personal insanity. So, at the level we normally play at, which is like six and seven, I find bugs a lot easier. Um, I have only ever done a level nine like once, and that was bugs, I think. I cannot imagine doing bots at that level, but yeah. <laughs> it sounds like it would be more frustrating than anything else. But they have also buffed some of the stratagems. And I think part of the reason why I don't like doing bots at higher levels is because the way that I like to play using turrets is not really conducive to playing against bots at higher levels. You know, sneaking sneaking around the map and strategically pulling certain mobs one at a time is not really how I like to play the game. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm not really a fan of the game at level 9. I, I don't know why, I just... I haven't played enough of it to say. Like I said, I've only done one mission at level 9, but it... The game does not seem to be best designed, oh, designed to be best played at level 9. Um, no. It's still decent, but I don't like the fact that you seemingly have to stealth it in order to get a shot. Um, Mystic, I am doing very good. I hope you're doing all right. I'm, uh, half a bottle of whiskey deep. Um, I don't know how much longer I'll make it. I just about got crushed by that, uh... <laughs> There's, um... What do you call them? Shrieker nest right over there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do this, the upload data thing. Oh, no, wrong way. There we go. Ramax, hello and welcome. I love the 500 kilogram. It is rather spicy. Where the hell is... Am I standing right next to it? Oh, there it is. Oh, hello. Well, I can hear them. Oh, there's a hell bump there. There's a hell bump there. Why uh, aren't you going pop? Oh, that's not a hell bump. It's a fucking tree. God damn it. Reloading. Anyway, secondary's done. I'm coming up to you guys. Yeah, there's another... Uh, there's a spore uh, right over there.
I'm coming. Oh my god, okay, right. Uh, we still got those buckles all the way there. Okay. Uh, the streaker nets. Yeah, I, I tried to shoot them out earlier, but with all the explosions going on, like, there was no way I was going to be able to take a shot, so I tried to move in closer. Uh, there's only one left. Yeah, got my poison again. Oh, Charge over there. I got a bug nest. Gaping the shrieker nest again? I can't see them. I got bug nests over here. Okay. And I got penis rock. Oh, huzzah. Oh, yeah. I'm running to penis rock. Samples for the sample guard. And I got another bug nest over here. Lovely. Oh, speaking of Warhammer, um, on Sunday, I'm going to be playing my first game using my Imperial Knights. Which, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to proxy one of them, because one of them's not built, but it should be fun. Big stumpy robots. And it'll make a nice change from playing Tyranids, where instead of having like a hundred models on the table, I'll have seven. If you like big, stumpy robots, you should be playing Battletech. <laughs> that is true. Actually, yeah, I saw at the, um, I was at the UK Games Expo the other week, and um, there was a massive Battletech section, and I spent a little while just looking through some of the models that they had, and there were, you know, people you know, sat down painting them. They had a paint station and everything. Looked pretty cool. And I also need to give the Battletech video game another shot because I tried it and it didn't really click with me, but I mean, yeah, maybe I need to try it again because I have heard that it's very good. And it's pretty similar yeah. to XCOM from what I remember. Yeah. Maybe I was just burned out on XCOM. Honestly, I can't really remember. Um, okay, we need to regroup. We need to regroup. Yeah, let's head, head down to Bleeders because he's on a nest, I think. Yeah. I'm calling in resupplies. Okay. Where's that fucking... Oh, yeah. I died recently, so I don't need a resupply. Wouldn't Custodes also be, like, a very few model in. army, too? So... Yeah, it depends on the points, but essentially, apart from Chaos Knights and Imperial Knights, Custodes are known as being the, the lowest model count uh, army. Um, the other one, again, depending on what list you take, would be Grey Knights, because Grey Knights are very Terminator and Paladin heavy. Um, so yeah, like with Custodes, you're, you're talking maybe 30 models tops. Which is a lot, like, right, that's, right. that's like a third of what some other armies can take at 2,000 points, but then that's obviously yeah. a lot more than the knights will take. Um, yeah, we want to head to there, I, I, I guess. Agonizing yeah. Star Butterfly says, are you excited for Space Marine 2? Yes, I would say that I am now that I've seen the gameplay trailer that was released the other day. Um... <sighs> It is very, it is unlikely that I'll buy it on release because I typically don't do that with video games and also it's going to be right when I'm balls deep in Rings of Power Season 2, so I don't want to get distracted. There's a, yeah, a silly frog, there's a um, uh, minor point of interest by you. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Yeah. Uh, the breach is next to you, Tank, or? I don't know. I think it is. Yeah. Oh no, that's a okay. Yep, yep. Requesting 
There we go. Where is that book? I think I've got the last hole. And yep. we're good. And it's gone. Although I am now out of grenades. How do you like the taste of freedom? Yeah, same. Yeah, the thing that worries me more than anything with Space Marine 2 is the fact that it has been delayed a lot. Um, which, on the one hand, it means that they're not content with releasing the game in a sloppy, unfinished state. But at the same time, it means that they have had problems. So, we won't know until the game's have, out. I would much rather them release the game in a uh, decent state than, uh, than do what they usually do, which is, oh, launch the game and then a you know 30, uh, 30 gigabyte update patch to fix yeah. it. Have uh, have the day one the day one purchases be the paid beta testers, and it, yeah. it, it does help that Creative Assembly is very protective of the IP in some regards. Especially now it has got a lot more attention, so I believe they're a bit more careful with just any did, big game coming out. What else did Creative Assembly make? Because I definitely know their name. Uh, Age of Empires, and they may also make their Total War uh, games. Sh they also made Alien Isolation. That's why I know the name. Oh no no no! That's um, no creative. Yeah, Cre was it was. It creative? I, I swear I'm right. I'm I, well. I swear I, I might be wrong. Obviously. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the the guys that made a bunch of the Total War games are the guys that made Alien Isolation. I think. Yeah. Oh, Bleeders is already running away. Oh, he's going. Bleeders, you should probably going, go and help him. No, Bleeders, you're going the wrong way. No, I'm not. He's going the right way. No, you got to go down he to, needs the... to take the. He needs to take the daddy cash to do it. To do the PC. Oh, okay, right. Uh, average it, British it nerd show says on the, on the objective marker, but he's going the right way. Okay, fair enough. Average British nerd says that I'm right. So apparently, Alien Isolation was Creative Assembly. Well, in that case, my hype level went up slightly. Um, also, Evie says. What other films have you watched in your off time recently besides Godzilla Minus One and Pacific Rim? I watched Ready Player One. Um, which I Ooh. I really do not like that movie at all. Um, but Ryan, my friend who I watch movies with, uh, he really does like it. And he was like, come on, watch it again and, you know, maybe you'll like it more. Okay, fine. I didn't like it more. <laughs> And uh, yeah, if I had time, it's 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 one where I'd consider doing like a podcast recording with him and to just talk about it, um, because I think it would be quite a funny discussion. But yeah, I really do not like that movie at all. Um, have I watched any other movies? I'm oh. calling in a recent lie. Okay. Um, I started watching season two of Smiling Friends, which I'm enjoying a lot. I need to stop watching that. Uh, very funny, very fucking weird, but I mean, yeah, what would you expect coming from the people that made it? Um, Agonizing Star Butterfly says, I hope there's Custodes armor for the Marines. Presumably you're talking about in Space Marine 2. Um, I don't think they will do that because, as you say, it doesn't make any sense lore-wise. Um, they're not the same thing. Um, 
yeah, I guess, uh, presumably this is the case. Presumably they're also not going to have Grey Knights for the same reason, that, because they're just not the same. Um, I, I, have we seen if there's going to be Terminators in the game? Because I know we've seen, um, like, Phobos armor and Gravis armor, but I don't think we've seen Terminator armor. But, um, yeah, either way, if, if Terminator armor isn't in the game in a mechanical sense, if they were to just add Terminator armor as a skin, that wouldn't make sense either, because it's not the same thing. It, it, it makes you look like something else. Um, so I would be surprised if they will do that, but... Who knows, honestly. I got the oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Holy fuck. Oh, sorry. You got you got in the way of my bullets. I I may have got leaded. Yes, because you got in the way of my bullets. That's a Warhammer game actually that I picked up on Humble Bundle this month, which surprised me with how much fun it is. Um, I can't even remember what it's called now. Fuck, what's it called? Um, uh, Battle Sector. So um. Yeah, kind of a turn-based strategy game. It doesn't have any base building. It's entirely, like, unit management and target selection, that kind of thing. Similar, I guess, to XCOM, except that you're controlling squads. And, uh, yeah, it's Space Marines and Tyranids, which is right up my alley. It's about ways I can for anybody who wants it. I really want to play... Uh, the new, um... Kingmaker game coming out. That one looks like fun. Kingmaker. I've definitely heard of that. So it's essentially you're going back in time in like a pickup truck. Oh, okay. <laughs> to like medieval to like medieval Europe to just murder everybody to try and save the world. Okay. I was not thinking of that, so I'm guessing that's not the game I'm thinking of. That what genre uh, okay. of game is it? Do we know? Um, it looks like it's kind of going to be like a cross of uh, an RPG and Total War. Okay, interesting. So like army management. In, yeah. In battle. Okay. Except that you're a guy running around with like a shotgun uh, and a pickup truck. Okay. And a gr and grenade launchers. Um. Neptune. So yeah, I would recommend Battle Sector, and if you're not sure, then um, have a look at Humble Bundle because it's on Humble Bundle for this month, which I think means that after the end of the month you can no longer buy it. Um, $12 gets you Battle Sector and seven other games. So if you're interested in even one of those other games, uh, then I would say it's worth it's worth getting. Yeah. I got a, um, I got a bug nest up here. Okay, yeah, I'm coming to you. Yeah, let's, uh, take up this bug nest. Requesting sentry. Oh, south of us, yeah. Watch out, it's... Uh... Get some! Get some! Oh, pain. I got you. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry, you didn't light me on fire. Oh, charger. That charger got absolutely bullied. Um, Average British Nerd, Demon Hunter's game, is that the 
one where you play as the Grey Knights. Or am I thinking of... I, I can't remember exactly what that game's called, because I played that for a couple of hours and it, I can't say that I particularly enjoyed it. Um, Golly, boy. Me? Oh, that was my guard dog. He was, he was being a naughty dog. Yeah, Chaos Gate. That's the one, yeah. Um, I didn't find it particularly fun. It, the, the art style did not seem very 40k to me. It seemed like almost anime. Um, and the fact that you have Grey Knights who are like I I extremely elite space marines struggling to kill cultists did not it, it did not feel right playing it <laughs> where's the uh, bug reach uh oh. up here up here okay yep oh get the charge yeah never mind dead charge it there's also still loot down there it. No idea what's in it. I'm guessing that was a hell bomb. Yeah, there was a hell bomb nearby, so I reckon that got hit in the crossfire. That's a charger, boy. No, it was a charger. Couch soup pass. Uh, thank you for the kind words and thank you for watching. Um, if you are wondering, the arcane video will hopefully be back up on Monday. If not, then Tuesday. If not, then I'll cry. So yeah. Um, and Darkington, I've actually not played Dark Tide. Have any of you guys played Dark Tide? Yes, um, it's fun. Okay. It's fun. I've heard mixed things about it. I don't know if it's in a better state now than when it was on release. It is in a much better state. It is more, still more fun when you're playing with uh, regular with with friends than yeah. randos. And if it's similar to Fem inside, I look pretty sure it is. I think it's better the same developers, but it should be fun. It yeah, it's, it's supposed to just be inside and got them years. Yeah, it's supposed um, to just be Verminside, but with a. 40k yeah, code of paint, pretty 40K, much. Yeah. The, I'm going to um, the weapons feel awesome. Uh, like a bolt gun feels like a bolt gun. It sounds like a bolt gun. Like their sound, um, their sound assets, and their, uh, and their score and their uh, music, is fantastic. I've heard some of the music. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, from memory, the um, main criticisms that I heard about it is that, like, when you're just playing the game, if you're in the level and you're playing, it's great. But the sort of out-of-level yep. uh, account progression unlocks and all of that is shit. Um, all the, uh, yeah, all the unlocks are essentially achievements. So, <laughs> and yeah, you kind of have to grind for them. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I may pick it up if it's on sale, but I've, I've not played it. I've also not played Vermintide, so I don't really... Mm. I can't really say that I know what to expect from it. Yeah, I like it because, like, a las gun actually feels like a las gun. It's not just, like, this useless flashlight. Mm. It's actually pretty effective. Those are bugs. Oh shit! Yeah, no, I'll I'll go up to the um, satellite mission. Hey, bleeders, you want to drop me a shield? Uh, um, um couch suit pass. So I, I do plan on doing. I, I plan on doing part three of Arcane, but it's not going to be within the next six months. Let's put it that way. Um. And then I will almost certainly continue the Arcane series and cover Season 2 as well, but again, it's not going to be oh, as Johnny, Season it's fine. 2 comes it wasn't the right spot. Oh, it's all good. Okay, nice. Requesting 
Oh fuck. We're still alive. Oh fuck. Uh, Neptune, I did not know that there was a Space Wolves XCOM style game. I, uh, uh, well, I mean, if you know what it's called, I might have heard of it, but I did not know that that existed, no. I remember I used to play Fire Warrior. That was, I think, the first 40k game that I bought. Like 2004 or whatever it was that that came out. Uh, charge up, charge up, charge up. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go. Uh, yeah. I think I will call it off of this one. You don't want to try level nine? Yeah, why not? We'll probably <laughs> die instantly anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to get tired, so we'll probably, obviously, shorter stream than normal today because I had to, uh, yeah, had to get home from me barbecue. Well, I'm... Uh, at least half a bottle of whiskey <laughs> through. Um, I've eaten quite a lot, though, so I'm not as drunk as I could be. Yeah. But I do also have to be up tomorrow at a reasonable time. Yeah, so we'll finish this mission, and then we'll jump into a level 9, and if we can finish it, we'll finish it. Does that work with you for you guys? Yeah, we can at least do, like, the 15... Uh, we'll do, like, one of the 15, like, blitz or whatever. At level 9? Yeah. You think that will be doable? Because so, I would have thought that would be harder. It'll probably be harder, but, you know, that's a 12 minute and we can probably get it done quick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that works. <laughs> oh, that's going to be horrible. Ah, well, uh, that's a bottle titan die. following me. That is a bottle titan following you. Don't, don't look at Sounds me. Sounds like a your problem. No, he hasn't seen me. I'm sneaky in my heavy armor. <clears throat> he suspects nothing. No. And yeah, Aliens Dark Descent, I have heard is good, but I also don't really know anything about it. I've seen it pop up on Steam every now and then. What are you hoping the next enemies are going to be in the next Space Marine game after 2? I hope it's the Eldar or the Necrons. Well... What I would want to see... Honestly, I mean, Tyranids. <laughs> Which is obviously what we're getting. Um, Chaos is kind of boring, because they just pop up all the time. You, you've seen them a hundred times. Uh, Necrons would be really cool, um, as we've seen in the Mechanicus games. Um, apart from that, I feel like Tau have potential, but I also feel like Tao have potential as the protagonist you play as. Um, apart from that, probably Orcs, honestly. Because Eldar I don't find particularly interesting, although I can see why people do. I, I feel like Orcs in a Space Queen type of game um, would work, or could work really, really well. Also, uh, another super chat from Darkington. Thank you, sir. Good luck on your 40k game. May your noble knights eviscerate the enemies of the Emperor. Well, you say that. I'm actually uh, playing against Imperial Guard, so um, I guess they're fighting for the Emperor. The Emperor will protect one of us. Maybe they're heretics. I guess we'll have to find out. But uh, yes, uh, thank you, sir, for the Super Jet. Where is that laser going? Okay, well that went relatively smoothly. Uh, you're quite right, Darkington. Whoever loses is the heretic. 
So I'm kind of I, I'm kind of expecting to lose because I've never played as knights before. But then at the same time, Imperial Guard have pretty much just been gutted in terms of the rules update that came out like a day ago, which is unfortunate. But yeah, it'll hopefully balance the playing field a little bit. Okay, so at level nine on a blitz mission, what should we take? Is there any point you think in taking the mech? Oh, we missed the, uh, the thief. How on earth did we miss that? Oh. Ugh, I blame bleeders. Guts on the mic says, what are your thoughts on the Gears of War adaptation on Netflix if you're a Gears fan? I did not know that was a thing. I'm guessing, Neither did I. I'm guessing it's not out. I'm guessing it's been announced. Um, I mean, I guess I would say I'm a Gears fan, although I'm not particularly tied to it. Like, I've played all of the games. I really, really like one. I, I played two and three, like, once. And I never played four... If five exists, I've never played that either. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I feel like it's a pretty cool setting. Um, I don't know really what you could do in a TV show because it, like, this it doesn't have enough of a story to warrant a TV show unless they just kind of do their own thing, which I guess is what they tried to do with Fallout. Um, so yeah, who knows? It honestly it depends on who's involved, but aesthetically, yeah, I do really like the Gears games. Um, whether 4 and 5 are worth playing, someone will have to tell me, because I have no idea. Right, so what no, are we they're not. They're not, okay, fair enough. It's a uh, level 9 defense mission. Oh, okay. As in, inside the fortress, or...? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, cool. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how this works. <laughs> uh, pain <laughs> is probably how it works, although at least we get like a minute before something bad happens, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, if uh, some idiot doesn't uh, activate the machine. <laughs> well, we're going for turrets. This is bugs or bots? This is bugs. Uh, bugs. Apparently, it has the writer that worked on Dune, so it'll probably be great. It could tell its own story like Castlevania or Arcane. Uh, I mean, yeah, hopefully. We we can hope. Is it is it live action? Presumably, it's live action. But yeah, I'll have to have a look and see, because I, I hadn't even seen that this was being announced. Also, HP, welcome. And yeah, we're gonna we're finishing it up with this mission, level nine defense mission. Um it will probably go horribly wrong. But we will have to see. booster is that? Uh, reduces the time in between uh, reinforcements once they're depleted. Okay. I reckon it's going to be relevant on uh, my... So apparently for Gears of War there's going to be a live action movie and an animated series. Animated makes sense. I I don't know about the live action. Well yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure what how much of a Gears of War story you can tell in a, in a single movie. I mean, if they do E Day, I mean, I can I can see that. Possibly, yeah. Well, they are making a game about that right now. So. Oh, he's uh, he's deleted the message. It might be that he was mistaken, but yeah, I'll uh, read it if he clarifies. Defend democracy at any cost. Uh, right. Where do we hold them? Where do we fight? Where do we die? Uh, we hold them at the at the front, I think, for okay. not, uh, at least for the first bit. 
I am not going to be surprised if there are Seven more than a Titans few. At once. <laughs> yeah. So, because uh, obviously we lose the mission if they destroy the ships at the back, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, Bile Titans can climb over or not? What the fuck? How did you manage that? <laughs> what just happened? Uh, someone caught on fire. Oh. Explosive barrel, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, can Bile Titans climb over the back and back door us or not? Uh, I don't think they can. I think they can... Um, I think they can probably shoot over it, but I'm not sure. Okay. I've never done this at a, on a hell dive. Well, I guess we'll find out. Um, are we good to go? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, sure. Where is the terminal? Uh, no, it's gonna. Oh, oh it starts now. Start. Okay. All right. Cool. Do we want to close this door? Let's close the door just to be safe. Yeah, they're already, uh... Uh... No, that's another breach. Okay. Oh, fucking tank, tank behind you. Fuck! Oh. I just saw that. <laughs> Just before I hit you. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's fine. Ah, uh, Bile Titan. Well, we're doing okay so far. There's less Bile Titans than I was expecting. Don't change your mind, Charlie. Don't change <laughs> Too late. a lot of dead bugs. Are the ships going slower than normal? Is that part of what makes this a level 9? Or... Uh, no. It's supposed to be just as many... Okay. Let's go and sneak a peek. Kramer's last words? There are no bugs. Yeah, there'll be another uh, breach fairly soon. Is this all you can conjure, Saruman? There he is. 
Oh no, it's over there. All right, I'm coming back. I still have two auto cannons up and running. They must have changed the um, the way the stratagems override each other. I remember back uh, uh, when they first launched, you could have four going. Uh, what by just by taking duplicates of the same stratagem, or by just having? What yeah. Just what just happened? Yeah, you could. Bleeders died. Bleeders, are they inside? No, your mortar happened. Oh. Why was it shooting at you? Have a taste of democracy. Were you starting to grow extra legs? Maybe. <laughs> well, if you start feeling the urge to worship the four-armed emperor, just let us know, right? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> there are nowhere near as many bugs as I was expecting on this level 9. Are you complaining? Uh, not really, no. Unless it's gonna just ramp things up when we get like halfway or something. Probably. Yeah, we have a resupply. There we go. Cool. Nice. That's a lot of spent brass. A lot of dead legs. Yeah. Right, there we go, four out of eight. This is where the fun begins. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, well, there we go. Open. I felt like going out. Behind you, Charlie. Oh, that's a battle type. Skadoosh. Uh... That's a Chungus Charger. It's not charging, though, for some reason. Uh, because Chargers are actually pretty stupid.
I'll just leave him there. He's not hurting nobody. I'll be honest, this mission is making me more confident that we could do like a full on level 9 mission, even though we gotcha, probably can't. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay, lovely. I'll hold off on using that one. Just in case we end up needing it. <laughs> it's a nice fail safe, she just will be breaching as like a Titan or something. So. Yeah, something that could make these missions harder, which I don't know if they'll want to do that. Shriekers. Shut your trap. <laughs> How do you like to the I already have to deal with your stupid uh, with your stupid turrets. <laughs> well, it would make the stock of um, what are they called? Gatling turrets go up, though. Everyone would have to take a Gatling turret to deal with it. Why the f- Pretty much all of them. There's another breach. There we go. Oh, why would you go and do a thing like that? Now I've got to run through the fucking static field to get back. Open the gate! Wow. Oh shit. Stop it, Mortimer. <laughs> yeah, was it this mission where Well, I mean it was this mission, but was it um over it was ridiculously overtuned or undertuned? I can't remember, honestly. When it first came out. simple enough. Alright, let's get out of here. Yep, let's make like a banana and split. <laughs> what? No! I see you there.
Oh, we made it. Nice. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> See you guys, we can do double nines. Yeah. <laughs> Well, right, um, just quickly before I end the stream, um, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll, in case anyone's watching now who wasn't watching earlier, um, Monday slash Tuesday is hopefully when the Arcane video will be back, and after that I can then work on appealing the copyright claims on the next two videos. So I'll probably stream something a week today, uh, but... Of course, if I can release a video then, then I will do that instead, because it's been a little while. Um, otherwise, we're talking two weeks today for a video, which hopefully is the longest that it will possibly be, but who knows? Honestly, I don't know. Um, it depends on what other bullshit YouTube wants to throw my way. But yeah. Don't you just love YouTube? Um, broadly, I can't complain. Um, it's kind of my job now. But at the same time, they have really strange rules that are just impossible to understand. Yeah. Um, Guts, yeah, so the uh, Netflix has until Monday, Welcome which is aboard, 10 working days from when I submitted the counter notification, to provide YouTube with evidence that they're pursuing legal action against me to, make sh to prevent me from making the video public again. If they don't do that, then the video goes public and they lose any right to bring it down again in future which is, that is exactly what I expect to happen. They're not going to do anything. It's going to time out, and the video will go live on Monday or Tuesday, depending on how the days line up. Um, at which point, I can then get back on my normal release schedule, which will be lovely, because I've got two videos in the bag ready to go. I've just got to get them past copyright. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I think that's going to do it for tonight. So... Give me a... There we go. Where is it? There we go. Yeah. Kind of no, backwards no. like that. It's all together. <laughs> Sparks says throw spiky bits at bleeders. So we can't do that now, but next time we probably will. Can I unlock the... Yeah, I probably can unlock the throwing knife. We might have fun with throwing knives next time. But, um, yes, yep. thank, thank you for the super chat, Sparks. And there he is. Yay. Yay. Cool. Right. Thank you guys for joining me with Democracy, and thank you everyone for watching. It has been fun. Uh, next time, I'll hopefully stream a little bit longer, and I won't have a surprise barbecue. Um, oh, and yes, Demos, thank you for reminding me. Anyone who's not in the Discord, if you want to be, uh, there should be a link in the description. So yeah, I'll hopefully see you guys in a week or so, and I'll, if not, I'll post an update to let you know what's going on with copyright and all that good, bad, and ugly stuff. Cool. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you see you next time.